looking like this. Okay, maybe not quite this fancy and this large, but it'll be fun. And so for those of you that haven't seen it before, and then also we could do this a little later on. We can do oh, I like um, as the side of a lake. You can do just about anything with a stick. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, pick a stick. You know, I'm going to shake them up, and then I'm going to look and not look and see if I can find one. And here's one that's whittled down on one side, so I'm going to use that. So here we go. I'm going to start by uh, wetting just softly with a little bit of spray the paper, and that makes the pigments move. And then I'm going to start step two, which is actually adding the paint. And I'm going to use some uh, yellow ochre, and I'm going to put a little bit on my stick. And I'm going to hold my stick like this, and I'm going to make a V. But it's going to be open at the bottom, and I'm just going to plop it on there. So it's not too hard. I think that's pretty easy, isn't it? <laughs> I think just about anybody could do this, right? Do you feel? Yeah. Does that feel comfortable? Now I'm going to take then the next color. So this is step three, and I'm going to place a little bit of burnt sienna, which is a brown color. This is a juicy one, and I'm going to put it right over the top of the others. Oh look, I made a mistake. I don't care. I'm just going to plop it on there. And I might even put a little bit more just because it's so juicy and I like that color. I'm going to see if I can cover up that yellow. But I'm leaving. My V doesn't connect together because where my V opens up, that's where the waterfall is. And I think you did this before. So the wider the V is, the bigger the waterfall. The narrower, the narrower the waterfall. Okay, so we got that? Okay, there's one more step we have to do. With a waterfall, you want to have a little blue, right? So this yeah. is French ultramarine blue. And up here in the altitude, look, it's coming right out of the tube already. And I'm going to take a little bit of that. And I'm going to go down either side of the waterfall. I'm going to run it right down this side and this side so that when I use the water, it's going to move and move the waterfall down. So I'm going to kind of put a little bit of paint there and a little bit there. This gets too gloppy. That's OK. I can put some of the extra up here in the yellow so that, does it look like a waterfall? Not yet. Not yet. But you okay. will go over. I can picture it. Yeah. But wet there. into wet? Yeah, it'll make it look like a waterfall. So I'm going to start by spraying, and we're going to have to sure. hold it up because sure. this is an old recycled hairspray bottle <laughs> filled with water, hopefully, not hairspray. And so we're going to start at the bottom, and we're going to start spraying, and hopefully our water is going to start really moving this is the and flowing. Of Isn't that pretty? Watercolor. All the way up. The water does it, does the, the water does the, thing. Does the work. Absolutely. I like that. And now I'm going to lay it down, and I'm going to take the stick, and I'm going to reach into the colors, and I'm just going to push up, and I'm going to create tree trunks, one right after the other. And I'll turn around so you can see it. Okay. And I'm going to continue to, as long as it's wet, the birds like it. I can hear the birds coming. Oh, no. And then to, to actually to make the foliage, the water's going to do that. You can see it beginning to spread out. But I can also take the stick and I can move it out to the side very gently and add some foliage. And the nice thing is if you dip into the um, blue that's up there or the yellow and you mix them together, they kind of mix together with the water, what color do you get? Yep. Yellow and blue, you and get green. green. So hopefully I'll get some green in here too. And, and, yeah. Kind of a foresty green. Mm -hmm. So while I start with the forest that's um, just tree trunks, it begins to really develop into a really pretty forest, I think. So it's kind of nice. Pretty, now we've done like four steps Wonderful. here, and that's it. If it dries out, I just take my handy-dandy spray bottle and just lighten it up a little bit and go from there. And I'm going to put some more branches over here. The blue jays are wanting to come down. I can hear them now. Come on, let us get in on this. <laughs> That'll be fun. They see color and they think it's food. food. They do. They, <laughs> they, they only do. Think of food. So all these trees are beginning to have some branches, so you can and okay. some foliage that's coming out yeah. here. Uh -huh. Okay. So I'm going to lay this down now, and I'm going to continue to to really develop my forest just using the stick, just a little bit. I don't have to really touch it very much, and in fact. The less you touch it, the better it turns out, right? Less is more in this case. It's really beautiful. There we go. And we're just adding a little bit more. Can you see that? Okay. And now my waterfall has quite a bit of blue paint here. There's quite a bit yet. There's a lot. 
But what I want to do is develop a top to the waterfall because you really can't see that, can you? Right. It's really kind of not there. Not. So all I'm going to do is I have plenty of paint here. There's a little bit of blue on this side. I'm just going to drag it across one time and I have the top to my waterfall. And I can then take my spray oh, bottle cool. and add a little bit of water and make it come down. Can you see it beginning to grow? Oh, yes. yes. Is it doing oh, it? Lovely. It looks like okay, a waterfall. Let's see. Does Beautiful. that look like it? Yes. See how that's doing? That's great. So in watercolor, the nice part about wet into wet watercolor is that it does all the work. You really just that's direct right. it. It's kind of like you're sitting in the a passenger seat telling it which way to go. And you have the control. You can turn it this way and flow to one side. You can turn it the other way and flow to the other side. You can make it go backwards if you want and do it upside down. You can do it any way you want and it just kind of moves for you. And it's really a lot of fun. So now I can also take the stick and I can play with it a little bit and, and move the colors around if I want. I don't really need to. Or I can let the water do it just by spraying. And of course, the more we spray it, the more the pigment moves, and it will eventually just wash away totally if we, I mean, you oh. could put it under the sink and wash it away all together. So okay. now, let's take a look here and see what else we can do. Oh, this forest is developing so nice. I have enough paint here to really begin to develop the trees. And you'll be able to do that too, and we're going to do that next, I think. So it's really make a nice forest here. But before it dries, we need some rocks, you know, like in Yosemite and some of the other places where waterfalls exist, there's always a lot of rocks around and the water likes to tumble over it and seek the, you know, the lowest level area. So I think it's just about right. We want to make sure it's not too glossy, but it's just about right to um, add some rocks. And that's real easy. If you remember, we started with a yellow. And not too much and that was the first the yellow ochre mm -hmm. was the first color we put on there so you don't want to put a little green in your trees so. mm, no i think no. i'm okay right now i think it's fine i kind of like the forest this That's way when nice. i look up here kind of bluey color kind of a bluey color i can do this i can add a little bit of yellow in here and that will begin to mix with the blue and create a little bit of green well, I kind of like it this way. I kind of like, like my forest looking like this. It's all misty. <laughs> and it's still continuing to move. Can you see oh, it? It's, it's, it's the color's too bad. So when you do yours, ask for a lot of yellow. And then when you mix the blue together, you get some beautiful greens. Green. Okay. Okay. I'm liking my forest kind of this mystical brown. I like the, the, uh, the bark of the trees, like the ones that are here. It's just beautiful. So I think we're just about ready to add a little bit of credit card. Make some rocks. So I'm going to lay that down and get my trusty credit cards out. And I've cut these credit cards up. Best thing I ever did. <laughs> are they I'm not, These are mine. These are all mine. And now they my were friends. They for you. I can no, no, my, you no, you cut them into force. But my, um, my friends now send them to me in the mail. Yeah. They will put a big black X through them sure. and just put them in the mail. They don't say anything. And I know that I get to. You know to, what it's for. I know what it's for. So I cut them up. And now instead of them costing me money, they're making me money because I sell the paintings. Yeah, so I'm going to use just the flat side. So you may want to lean in a little bit here to see what's going on. But I'm going to push the paint around now. And I'm going to take it flat and I'm going to push it around like this. Oh. And in the process, I don't know if you can see that, wherever I stop, I create a shadow. And wherever I continue oh. on, I create some rocks. And so I can create a cliff with beautiful rocks all the way down the side of the waterfall on either side. So I'm going to paint it that. Oh, Just by pushing the pigment. Isn't that great? That's great. That, that is shows up great, doesn't yeah, it? Perfect. That's super. Who would have ever thought? <laughs> it just makes... It, and, and now, this is where, as an artist, if you want, you know, the rocks to be like a stone wall or very sharp and jagged, you can easily do that. Now, I might make some jagged over here, but just by... Well, you couldn't paint that with watercolor. No. No, I don't no. think so. Well, you could, but it would the, take a while. Yeah, but yeah, and it didn't well, come out like this. this. You don't, don't think it would come out that way? No, this no. gives you the, the, the strength of, yes. a, of a, a rock. The rocks. And there's so much pigment here on the back side of my card that if this is white and I don't want it to stay white, then I can just sure. use that pigment really and let it come down yeah. and create more. And it's not that. Of water color, you know? I'm to do it upside down and not for you and all around, so... And wherever you stop, I like to stop and create um, shadow 
where the dark is. That's yeah, where mm -hmm. I stopped and I left the pigment there. Mm -hmm. So really now, those little blobs of paint that we put on there, we with, let a the, with a stick and, wow. and a piece of credit card and a lot of water created a waterfall just like that. Amazing. Like it? Amazing. Want to try 